everyone, this is Rick Morgan. I am doing a video here about cleaning another, yet another Hulk 181. This is pretty bad. When I started, it was a probably a two and a half or so. And it looks like this. And what I did was I just cleaned it with Immaculine and then put it in the blue Immaculite and then pressed it. Uh, didn't do very well the first time. It was noticeable, but not great. I didn't do the whole process twice. And it looks better now, but you know, not great. So here's a couple of images of before and after on the front of the book. And here is the rear of the book in case you don't want to watch the entire video. The process was I washed it with the MacuClean, put in blue light first time with 6% peroxide spray and for an hour. Uh, second time I did not use peroxide, but it was for, I said an hour in the video, I believe, but it ended up being two hours. And then I had a few spots that needed a little bit of work. So it went a third time yeah, with a couple of spots of a Q-tip on a few of the spots for one more hour. So I think I got a total of four hours of the, the light treatment. And then I pressed it at 55 pounds, 600 seconds for at 165 degrees. And that's it. That's, that's You can see the results. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, take care. See you later. Bye-bye. This is the initial state of the book. I'm going to angle it a little so you can see the any wrinkles or imperfections on the surface. You can have a little spot right here I need to work out possibly with a ball bearing. And the letters are a little stained. We've got the back here, which is very dirty, of course. And lots of spots in it. I'll go over it again and show you where we'll have a little bit of dusting on the edges, a little bit of what looks like foxing or molding. And we'll just go ahead and start using a MacuClean on the book. It's gonna get, uh, I think I'll take four or five pumps there and just swipe it away from the spine. And initially it doesn't pick up much dirt after it's soaked in a little the pads will usually pick up more dirt. Here you can see some of the dirt on the pad there. Eventually we'll get quite a bit of this dirt off. There's the back, not much so far, but you'll get a lot later. And we continue to do the same. I apologize, this is so boring and slow, but I'm just gonna show it on the first pass. What I do, it's not any different the second time. I put a little piece of silicone paper. If it's wet, I don't wanna set it on anything. When it's damp, that could it could adhere to. Then I do some more clean on the front of the book. I start initially working away from the spine, or if I go towards the spine, I make sure I use my fingers to hold the cover down so that it doesn't curl up. And this first pass, I usually don't see the most soil come up. Usually if I let the book dry for a while and then I do an operation like a light treatment or a light press and do it again, I'll see more dirt come the second time, which was the case in this, this particular instance. More dirt came up the second time after it was had a chance to recover from its first cleaning. There we go. I'm going away from the spine, a little bit towards the spine, but remember, see how I'm holding my fingers down so that the page doesn't curl up. And I do another pass on the back of the book, the reverse. Some more Mackie Clean. Try to be very careful around the spine because wet paper is weak paper, so we're very, very gentle, not pushing hard at all. More like petting a, a cat or something, right? It's very, very soft. I flip the pad around and doing the front here again. That's all I'll get for this pass. I'll get more. Second time around, do the spine a little, see how much comes off the spine there. 
as it sort of gets ignored a little bit in the passes. But some came up. I mean, got quite a bit of dirt up the first time, but we'll get a lot more the second pass around. Now for the Immaculate treatment, I have a mask I made, especially for Hulk 181 books, just to protect the orange. I haven't really seen a lot of this fading of the oranges myself, but others have reported seeing it, so I like to cover it. Just to focus on the white parts of the title. And then line that up pretty well, and then put the box around it here. Then we put the light box around the comic book. I have it on a large backing board there. This is a mirrored box. Put it around here. Put the lights on top. Then we turn the light on. And we wait about one hour. I think I waited like an hour and one minute on this particular one. So we did that process twice. And the second time was actually for two hours. First time was once we had three hours of light and two immaculate cleans. Looks like this now. I took a photocopy of it originally for easy comparison for myself to see how well I was cleaning it. And it looks better, but not great. I think it needs a little more work on these spots here. So we're going to do some spot work on that book. We'll check this out here. Here are differences in the, the front of the book, and it's a photocopy I don't think was a great idea. It was just for me to have a reference while I was working on it, and it's just kind of hard to do, but at least it's a little bit of a reference. I can see if I got any stains off, but it won't tell me if there's any, any color fading re really. It might have may have been a mistake, but here's the book. We're going to work on these stains and spots next by adding a little bit of peroxide and more light just to those particular areas so we don't embrittle the entire book, which is something that worries me a little bit. It may be unfounded, but it does worry me. So this is 6% peroxide, and I'm going to roll it just on the stains. Not rub it, but roll it, and you'll see that I just rolling it here so I can approach the stains. Now the book is not really going anywhere north too far of maybe a three or three and a half now, but still, I just like to get rid of them. So that's what I do. Put in the few spots I see here, and then I'm going to shield the rest of the book while I give it one more hour of the Immaculate treatment. And then we will see how it comes out. In this case, I'll shield the rest of the back of the book with a backing board and just leave the part I want to treat exposed to the light. Again, possibly unnecessary, but it makes me feel better because I'm a cautious sort. At this point, my videographer is at a birthday party at a uh, it's trampoline place with his friends, so I'm filming this myself. And just to show you what it looks like inside, I don't know if the camera's picking this up. I'd probably overexpose the camera, but. My eye can see the book in there. I'll lift this up a little bit here for you. And that's what it looks like inside. Just exposing it to these lights. We'll see what happens. Then I make my standard sandwich of the two chamfer boards and the silicone paper. And I'll press the book at 55 pounds, 165 degrees for 600 seconds in this press. I apologize, I'm doing this one handed. As I said, my videographer is at a birthday party, so I'm trying to hold the camera steady and do this with one hand. So here's my top metal board. I have a metal board underneath that's already been preheated to 165 degrees, so it's warm. I apologize, I lost a little bit of my video at the end there, but I just showed that I pushed the press down and then I took it out later, so it wasn't that astonishing. But the book looked pretty good. I think not, it looks better, but it's not great, obviously. Here's the book now. The here's a, I'll show you some more before and after photos, a little bit larger this time, and leave them up a little longer, so 
I'll try to do a longer count. So here's the front of the book. I'll try to do that for a few more seconds. And then here's the rear of the book. You can take a look, see what you think. So again, that's the process. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you are having a good start to the new year of 2023. Uh, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.